Oh my god, we're doing it again. In honor of my wife being in New York, actually it's a coincidence, here's a shirt I bought in New York from the Pokemon Center. Back when it was the Pokemon Center. It later became Nintendo World and either is still there or totally gone. This is one of those things I should have looked up before I started. But I didn't even know I was going to show you this shirt before then. Nintendo World Store is a gaming paradise in the center of New York City, located in Rockefeller Center. Over 10,000 square feet of hands-on entertainment. I believe it. It's a fun place, actually. Well, it was the last time I went, which was a million years ago. The first time I went, super awesome, and Kim got this limited edition hat, which was in Japanese, and it said Pikachu in, uh, in Katakana, and it's super awesome, and she still has it. And I passed up on the opportunity to get a limited edition hat that was just like ashes with a little symbol on it, and every day I regretted it. Actually, not as much since I don't wear hats anymore, but yeah. I'd like to go back there. Well, I'd like to be in New York, actually. Not just because my wife is there, but partially. But there's a lot of New York I have. You want to see it for about a week and a half, and then you get real tired of it and want to go back home. That's how it works. It is 6.30 on the dot right now. Current temperature is 77 degrees. It was deathly hot on Saturday, and then didn't get out of the 60s on Sunday. So, the full gamut there. And of course, the weather was such that it had me sleepy at the wrong time and wide awake at the wrong time. And that's always how it is. When I should have gone to sleep, it's during that Sprint Cup All Star match. Wow, that was the most boring race in the world. And actually, the nationwide race in Iowa was kind of boring too. So, again, good thing I stayed home. Every year when the Nationwide Series heads to the Iowa Speedway, and they're going to do it twice this year, and I think there's a truck race there. Every, but every time there's like a, a major league, one of the big series races, which means trucks are nationwide at this point, I always think, man, it's pretty close. I should drive down there. And then I don't. And then I regret it until I'm actually sitting at home watching the race and going, wow. I'd be really angry if I'd have driven down there and paid 90 bucks to get a seat for this. So that's your NASCAR tidbit of the day. But I hope you had a happy NASCAR day. I still have my this year NASCAR Unites uh, band on. And will for a year, probably. But it's a very special week. It is uh, our week-long tribute to Canadian food. Thanks to James. Today's Canadian food is poulet roti. Roast chicken flavored lays which were fresh until a week ago, if you believe them. Here in America, it would probably be fresh for another three months, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's find out what these are like. Mmm. That's... I guess it's kind of chickeny. Does it just mean they put a lot of poultry seasoning on it? Let's see if it says. Special selected potatoes, duh. Vegetable oil seasoning. Corn, maltodextrin, torula, yeast, salt, MSG, hydrolyzed soy, and corn protein, spice, spice. That's what it is. Onion powder, vegetable oil, glucose, solids, citric acid, dextrose, modified milk ingredients, mono, and diglycerides, garlic powder, flavor. Wow. So really, there's only three ingredients. Potatoes, vegetable oil, and seasoning. Unfortunately, everything you want to know about is in that catch-all seasoning category where you don't know. This package provides 25% of the daily requirement for vitamin C. Now, assuming that Canada and America have the same... I shouldn't say America. Canada and the United States. America is the landmass. That's why it's the United States of America. Write that down and remember it. Assuming they have the same uh, dietary requirements, I'll have to check. I wonder if you need to have more vitamin C if you're a Canadian than if you're an American. Okay. 
I'm tasting something. Is it roast chicken? I don't know. I mean, it's not Marachan's version of roast chicken. I went to Walmart to replenish the supply, by the way. There's definitely something there, though. I kind of thought it would just be, you know, they put poultry seasoning on it, and that's kind of probably what they did. I'm trying to remember now what the key ingredient of poultry seasoning is. And now I'm going to have to look it up. Come on, pansies. Sage, yeah. Sage, pansies poultry seasoning is sage, white pepper, red and green bell pepper, lemon peel, savory, rosemary, dill, allspice, thyme, marjoram, and ginger. Probably not any ginger in this. Although... Now, I think James said this was limited edition. I can see why. This is good, and I may want it once or twice, but really, that's all, you know, I got 75 grams to get through today, so. Interesting, if it were an American package, it would say ounces and have grams in parentheses, and here they have grams and nothing, so it's all metric. All right, now I'm going to crunch for a minute, so I won't try not to talk with my mouth full. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. You kind of, it kind of just ends up more like potato chips, but you kind of get the spices that kind of hit you. And then they kind of linger, but for the whole potato chip experience, yeah, I don't know. When I, when I think chicken, I think flavors like ramen flavor, like that one, or top ramen. This is not that. This is chickeny, but it's chickeny in a different way. And it probably would not go over in this country, which is probably why they don't have it. Still, it was an investment of a dollar forty-nine. Which in American dollars is at least 47 American dollars, so I do appreciate it. It's an investment in entertainment. I can only hope that you're entertained. Let's go to the W and see what I've been ignoring for several days. There was a bunch of stuff I was supposed to talk about on Friday, and I got all wrapped up in unboxing my Canadian treats. Let's go Rangers. Indeed. Let's go Rangers. Playing again tonight. Boy, it's a shame they lost on Saturday, but oh well. Jeff is comparing American Smarties to Canadian Rockets. I've never heard of Rockets, but uh, they're amazing. Rockets or Smarties, or both? I keep meaning to bring in some Smarties so I can show them to you. Before I have the Canadian ones, I'll bring in some American ones and we can do the A to B there. I didn't agree to this, but in the last couple of years, gravy's become a pretty popular topping for fries. Only in the last couple of years? I thought you I thought you dudes always had gravy on your fries. Aren't you one of those countries that's like that? Euro countries are a lot like that too, right? If they're not putting gravy on them, they're dipping them in mayonnaise. Which is delicious, but I would never do it. James has fun at convenience stores to explain the, putting the package together. There are lots of candy bars and chips that I wanted to include. Well, go ahead. I don't know. I I love it, and you probably did spend 15 bucks on food. It's just crazy you had to spend even more on postage, 23 bucks. But I'm glad you did. And you know, if you need a package of food from me in return, you know how to reach me, and I can try to send you. Because you always talk about making trips out special to buy food and. I could spend a god awful amount of money sending you some food too. The bottle, now 638. The bottle on the all dressed chips isn't oil, it's vinegar. Oh, of course. We get, we get vinegar in chips too. In fact, it's a very popular flavor. It's uh, usually vinegar and salt, which I think is a British affectation. 
And they're really good. The problem is that because I tend to eat the entire bag, by the time it's done, my tongue has been eaten away and there's just holes in it from all the vinegar. Swamp water of chips. Well, we're looking forward to trying that one later in the week. James is promising to include Rough Riders beef jerky next time. I'm just excited there'll be a next time. That's crazy. Uh, Doug is the only person to make reference to me attempting to sing last week. You're all too kind to, to say anything, I can tell. But uh, he asks, we had a cat named Dog in college. That's outstanding. It's like Data naming his cat Spot. What's the strangest name you've ever given a pet? I, uh, we've only had a couple dogs, and they've all had pretty straightforward names, so I don't have any strange name stories to tell you. Hmm. I'll have to see if I can remember something for a later day. I did not make a Preakness pick. Uh, I wouldn't have picked I'll Have Another, so I would have been wrong. I think the horse I ended up picking finished. Actually, I picked the, was it win place show? I picked the third place horse, uh, whose name I've already forgotten. Creative Cause or something like that. Again, purely based on picking whoever was third or fourth in the odds. It's a real scientific system. But usually I don't pick anyone that pays at all, so I did pretty good. Um, Please said I should have sung Donna Summer. Donna Summer is just out of my range, and I know this from karaoke experience that I can do Donna Summer for about 30 seconds, but unfortunately her songs are three to four minutes long, and by the end of the time, I can't hit those high notes anymore, and my throat hurts, and bad things happen. It is now coming up on 12 minutes, so I'm going to let it go, but please continue to ask questions, continue to visit, and I will continue to get fat on Canadian junk food. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.